Hi, hello guys. My name is Conrad and I want to tell you a story. Do you see that wood here? Do you remember that? You know, I, when I was young, I had a dream. And I think I just want to tell you about that dream that I had with my parents. I stayed in some local place here in Switzerland and I got raised here, back here. So see that wood? That was a lot of energy that we used to burn the fire to heat our house. In this house, I got born and look at, it's just made of wood and local uh, sandstone or wh whatever stone we had in those times. Look at it, how beautiful it is, but it took a lot of time to build it and to make it. So just take a look. That is the creek that passed our house. And look at these horses that are just passing by. That was our mobility concept. We took our horses, put it in front of the coach, and that's how we just got along in our little book, Switzerland. So that's the creek. Look at the sound, how the water is flowing. It's like life, our old life and our new life. So that's just the life, how it's flowing. So look here, that's the house, the entrance. And here actually, my mother always had the nice flowers, the nice Swiss flowers in front of our windows. Here's the fountain we used to wash our clothes. It was tough work. It took all day long actually to wash our clothing. And so it's, it was not really easy and funny actually to do that work. That was our garden. It had a lot of vegetables and flowers too. But it was nice. It gave us food and we had it very fresh. So nowadays even we still have gardens in our backyards. And it, re it reminds us of the, uh, of the old times when this was the only source to get food. That's the schoolhouse where I learned writing and reading. Let's go inside and have a look. <laughs> In der Schule segne mich, auf dem Weg behüte mich. It was tough to learn the alphabet and we had no computers at those times. Let's have a look at the classical desk and look what's inside. Oh, it's something about religion. It was so tough to learn about all that things. Geography was one of my favorite, so that's a map of old Europe. Let's have a look at Switzerland. Going to the center part. Oh yeah, here it is. Oh yeah, here. When kids left me alone, I had some time to write my things. This was accounting, and I was also writing letters to my friends all over the world. My mother back in the living room was knitting and helped us to grow up. The watch in the background always showed us how life is so much related to time. Here's my little brother. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Pretty good, okay. Look at this stove, how hard it was to cook your meal. And look other things, so you had to take the wood actually to fire. And then this was the, 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 the pot sink where you washed all those things. And eventually we had dinner at those tables. I still remember when I had dinner with my family in those times. And nowadays we followed these tracks and we now take a look when a new house gets built with old technologies. Here bauen wir unser neues altes Haus www.ballenberg.ch
What does that mean? Hier bauen wir unser neues altes Haus. It means we are just constructing our new old home. Look at this construction of the of the roof. Look at this, how beautiful it looks. And it's just old technology. Here's the plan. And here uh, is how it's done. Look at this construction. It's made of wood and in between there is stone and plaster. And when it's finished, it looks just nice and very smooth. Nice walls all over the house. Inside these walls, look at this. They use a specific kind of insulation. It's easily made by wood and it encloses a lot of air. And that's how the insulation is working. See and look how it's nicely all put together. Wood, stone, straw and other materials to build a house. And it will last for centuries. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>